Enter Pyramid Peak. 14,018 feet. Time is approximately 2.45 a.m. on a beautiful Monday morning, June 20th, 2016. Pyramid Peak, its level of difficulty is at a ranking of Class 4, which that these numbers don't make any sense what I can say is a class 4 is a highly exposed mountain <clears throat> this is my first class 4 14er so I would be lying to you if I said I wasn't nervous because I am but I can say with confidence that I have spent the last, I'd say since 2012, mentally preparing for a mountain like this. We are in the Elks Range, where some of the most challenging 14ers are. And with that in mind, not only are we gonna see Pyramid Peak today, but we will also see the infamous Maroon Bells. And I think this little notice here says it all. Which I already knew walking in. So, with that in mind, <laughs> Ooh, they are giving every single kind of warning imaginable for these mountains. So, the good news is, what's that say? Oh, wow. It's a memory. Looks like this individual, Mr. Raymond Butcher, lost his life on the Maroon Bells. This is not in any way to frighten you or scare you. My videos, as you already know, are intended for educational purposes. So with that in mind, what can I say about this climb? The Elks Range, among others, is among the dis most difficult mountains to climb. It has taken me since 2012 to mentally prepare for this particular climb. You don't see what I see, but for the first time in my life, I see the maroon bells up front and personal. As dark as it is, I can't really make it out too well. But nonetheless, it is there. I will uh, do my usual thing as the sun rises today. We will get more footage of this environment and go forward from there. It looks like there's a full moon out tonight, so it's time to go beast mode. Despite my misery, I'm blessed. Despite the fear resonating in me, I'm blessed. We are making excellent timing. So far, it's not even the sunrise, and we are getting closer to the amphitheater, which is the essentially first major task to uh, overcome and the higher I go the more snow I see items of choice on this trip trekking poles crampons an axe and a helmet 
trekking poles obviously have been are being used for the first portion of this hike and then as we get closer to the face of the mountain the axe and the crampons are coming out sun looks like it's in its early stages on the rise and the longer I wait the more I see the snow in the mountains so judging by the format I'm glad I brought this stuff well still dark unfortunately thanks for sticking through this video Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> I have the distinct privilege to introduce to you the infamous Maroon Bells. It's a combo, 14ers, and quite possibly one of the most intimidating climbs in Colorado. Fortunately for me, Today is not that day to climb them. The advantage of starting so early gives you the ability to not see what's truly in front of you and just focus on the trail in front of you. But nonetheless, I accomplished my goal to get up here when the light breaks to for the first oh my word well you got your little introduction with the bells please allow me to introduce the summit of the hour pyramid peak holy cow Oh, I have no words. <coughs> well, hello. We are at the cusp of the amphitheater, and uh, it is that time to get the gear out simply because there is loose rock everywhere. And uh, actually, let's put this thing on first. What a day. See the view back there? My goal was to get to this point before the sun has completely risen. But this terrain reminds me, sorry, just looking at the, uh, see what it looks like in the reflection, that's all. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's getting real. This is where the fun begins. But anyway, nonetheless, we are making good progress. The time is 5.28 a.m. Most of you are sleeping right now. And, uh, man, so lucky, so thankful. Just getting to this point had its potential close calls. If someone would have fainted back there or fall backwards, let's just say you would hit a rock and then you would have gone for a roll. <laughs> oh man, there it just comes to a point where your mentality is just stretched thin and you just don't care anymore. <laughs> You're numb. <laughs> you embrace the misery and you just do it. That's where my state of mind is right now. So, 
I feel like my commentary is going to be a little longer than my GoPro movie. So I'll get the most of it on, of the GoPro on the way down. But uh, let's get this started. We have made a lot of ground since the last video. Sun is out. There's the summit. It's not so bad when you get up close and personal. Then again, that's not where I'm heading. Where I'm heading is right there. Right in that corner on the right side, there's a little tiny peak there. So I'll be scaling all the way up to there and then there. Being tired is an understatement. I am finally at the base of the amphitheater. And, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Summit's still there, but I gotta head this direction first in order to get to there. Oh man, just sitting here having a quick snack and I'm just thinking this past week has just been so crazy. I uh, I cram in my final for my for the grad school course I'm taking. I fly to and from Alaska. I meet childhood heroes, and on the seventh day, I climb a class four fourteener. Oh man. Thank God I have tomorrow off because I am going to sleep in. I tell you, this is uh, not the best place to do a video, but sorry for the camera malfunctions, but I kid you not, I am here. Home is there. I tell you, ice axe and crampons. Ugh. Very good choice. Makes it feel like I'm just walking up this thing. Naturally, I'd be using my both hands to maintain balance, but I trust the axe and the crampons enough to do this short video, but almost there. Not much recording because going through that mess took a lot more than I expected. I am now officially on the saddle where I have an amazing view to behold absolutely amazing up here now we're at the final stage of this climb because there it is this is gonna be crazy seriously I have no words for what I've been experiencing today. Just crawling over one obstacle after another. And finally, I'm getting a clear definition to the summit. That spot, to that spot, that spot, all the way around there. I'm sorry, there's not enough videos of the footage, but this place is clearly all hands <laughs> available. <laughs> you wouldn't believe me where I'm at, even if I told you. This has been one giant freak show. Class four does not disappoint. I am literally hanging alongside a mountain right now. And what's below me is 
besides that, you are correct. I went through all of that more ways than one. Now, we are right there. I can honestly, sorry if you can't see it, guys. Right there, just a little bit more. On a bad note, I did take a huge fall, two of them. I, it wasn't, I went for a nice little ride, let me just put it that way, because there's a, no other way to explain it. I am soaked, drenched, thank God for a life proof case, because my phone would have been done. Thankfully, it's gonna be clear skies all day. So once this is done, picture, picture, gone. I am done with this mountain. After so much work and effort, I have finally summited Pyramid Peak, 14,018 feet. Class four definitely gave me a new definition of what it's like to be a mountaineer. It's uh, so, feels so amazing to be here, to be on this mountain, to see the maroon bells behind me. If you kind of look out yonder over there, Capitol Peak and Snowmass Mountain are there. Um, Snowmass has already been done. That was last climb of last year. So really at this point, it's the bells and the capital. Now, now that I know what a class four is like, I cannot imagine what a class five is like, and that's what the maroon bells are. So it's been a very long day. Thank goodness that this is gonna be a clear skies all day, because going down is gonna be another task. Um, not gonna spend too much time on the summit because I think it's time to go home, <laughs> grill some steaks, drink a bottle of Jameson, I don't care. Home is where I'm coming. A 14er isn't complete without a little sledding. Oh man, this is always my favorite part. That I mentioned it saves time too. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. oh man. Whew. Okay. Keep the going. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> this little journey started at 2:45 a.m. It is now 5:24 p.m. If I said Earlier, that this was gonna be a 10 hour trip, mm-mm. Way wrong. <laughs> um, why it took so long? Well, for starters, I should say this. It is taking me the last third of this trip to even muster the words to share with you about how this, this, this climb has affected me. But, I think I have it now. But for starters, Missed a turn at the beginning. If you ever hike Pyramid Peak, look for that rock stub right there. Don't go straight, go left. That will uh, save you about 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Um, I was really confused this morning because I was like, why am I heading towards the Maroon Bells? 
then I realized after looking at the map, I was like, oh no. Um, towards other reasons why this trip took a little longer than usual. Well, I think towards the end, well, towards the ascent, I ran out of gas. Um, uh, this mountain definitely showed me what a class four 14 is like. It's not easy, but I uh, enjoyed every minute of it. I won't lie, there were a number of close calls. If you haven't bought one of these ice axes, get one. Even if you're not going to use it, just get one. Uh, I literally remember trekking up some of the snow on this mountain and my feet would slip and I have nothing to hold on to and then here is this lovely ice axe buried in the ground and it's literally holding me up by my hand because of the little um, handle here. So besides that there was surprisingly I actually did some technical climbing and some hardcore rock climbing on top of that. So, kind of a little bit of all, a little bit of everything. There was one, two scary moments where I did grab a rock, and again, I knew this going in, you just don't know when it happens, but the rock gave out, and I actually fall back a little bit. But due to <laughs> uh, my resources, that was deflected. The ice axe alone <laughs> saved me about, I lost track around 20 times and that's not an exaggeration. It's not so much me looking for opportunities to get in trouble, it's more like opportunities find you. And that's kind of what a class four taught me today. Pyramid Peak has been one of those mountains that I've been very, very intimidated by since I discovered it. Um, so the fact that I was even hiking it was a huge deal. And to be on top of that mountain is one of the best feelings in the world, with the exception of a long day. But nonetheless, this climb was able, allowed, allowed me to uh, scale the, the maroon bells those are on my list but i don't even want to think about that right now <laughs> i am so tired that i am like almost delusional i'm seeing these rocks over here that i thought was a wolverine but it wasn't <laughs> there was this like orange leaves in this tree i could have sworn it was a fish <laughs> i'm not joking i think i'm literally losing my mind even more well maybe that's what happens when you haven't had any sleep so overall pyramid peak not a joy ride <laughs> hike unless you want it to be but uh it is an experience that i am never going to forget